There's no doubt that Americans have a love affair with guns. It's an addiction, and they're in deep. They make up 4% of the world's population, but almost half of civilian-owned guns are in American hands. With a population of over 300 million, there are 101 guns for every 100 people. That's more than any other country, and the US cannot get enough of them. Gun-related deaths in America are far higher than in any other Western country. But rather than provoking a decline, when discussions on gun controls intensify, there's a spike in sales. The fact that this problem is complex can no longer be an excuse for doing nothing. Barack Obama's talk of greater gun controls created a bonanza in the industry. Production doubled in the first year of his presidency. But why the addiction? That's harder to measure. First, there's history. Americans fought for their independence and they won by using guns. Since then, the Second Amendment to the Constitution has enshrined gun ownership rights. Gun rights advocates say that it's a God-given right to own practically any firearm, including machine guns, and no man can take it away. Feeding America's addiction is a pusher, a rich and powerful pusher with friends in high places, the gun lobby. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. It uses corporate billions to buy politicians by funding their elections, rating their voting on how closely they tow the line, and donates vastly more to gun-supporting Republicans than Democrats who favor gun controls. And the gun lobby stimulates demand, pushing Americans to get their fix. Americans may have a weakness for guns for all kinds of reasons, but they're being exploited and preyed upon by corporate interests interested in one thing, money. The gun high is long over, but very few Americans are prepared to go cold turkey, and the implications are terrifying. 